In this video, we will be discussing how VMware vDefend can block insecure protocol traffic from reaching workloads in your infrastructure. Insecure protocols, like SMB version 1, can allow a malicious user the ability to gain access to an unpatched workload. A workload might not be able to be patched due to business constraints. This is where VMware vDefend can help you protect the workload in multiple ways. We have two workloads in our topology for this example. One workload is a Windows 7 machine that has SMB v1 enabled. This workload should not be providing file sharing services to any users in the enterprise. The second is a Windows 2016 file server that shares confidential company assets to many users. Both machines have been in use for quite a while and have not been patched by the IT staff due to their workload. These machines are susceptible to eternal romance, which, when exploited, can allow users to gain access into the workloads. Once access has been attained, the malicious user can exfiltrate data or perform further lateral movement in the enterprise. We will show how VMware vDefend can help prevent this unauthorized access from happening. Here, we will show the exploit being utilized by the malicious user on the Windows 7 machine. Remember, this machine is not a file server and unknowingly still has SMB version 1 enabled. Once the malicious user has exploited the system, you can see they have free access to the workload. Since we know we have a file server that end users need to access, we will create a rule allowing the private RFC 1918 range the ability to access the file server using the SMB service. If we have more specific ranges for the source, we would use those instead of RFC 1918. All other access to other workloads using the SMB service will be denied. This will stop SMB traffic from reaching our Windows 7 workload. Now, when we retry the exploit on the Windows 7 workload, it will time out, meaning our rule is working as expected. We have protected our Windows 7 workload and given the IT team time to patch it appropriately. Once patched, they can choose to open up SMB access to the machine if they wish to do so in the future with additional rules. Now the question is, what about our file server? Is it also vulnerable to eternal romance? How can we protect it when we know SMB traffic needs to reach it? As you can see, the rules are correctly made. We have a group with the file server as a member, and we have resolved its IP address appropriately. We are only allowing the SMB service to reach it and denying all other unneeded protocols. Let's check and see if the server can be exploited using the same attack. Uh-oh, it seems to be vulnerable. We will need to do something to protect this workload while still allowing it to serve authorized connections. This is where VMware vDefend intrusion detection and prevention can help. We have created a rule that will inspect any traffic to the file server using the SMB service. If vDefend detects any malicious SMB traffic, it will prevent it from exploiting the system. A custom SMB profile was created to target this attack. Based on our attack type and target we specified, several IDPS signatures will be checked. If any of them are triggered, we set the action to drop. A packet capture will be taken so we can inspect the traffic after the fact. The attack type is set to Trojan activity, and the attack target is set to SMB client. Now, let's try that exploit again. It is able to connect to the port, but this time, the malicious payload is stopped. This prevents the system from being exploited, and no remote shell has been created. We have successfully applied a virtual patch for our file server protecting it from eternal romance. In our threat event monitoring, we can dig deeper into the attack that just occurred. We can see all the details like source address, ESXi host the workload lives on, the workload the attack was directed toward, signature ID, and more. All of this data is valuable information that can be used by a SOC team for further threat investigation. We can see the full event history as well as what actions were taken upon detection. In the Packet Capture Query tab, we can see the packets vDefend protected the workload from. 
This is helpful for further investigation if required by the SOC team. It can be exported directly to your machine to then be opened by Wireshark. Here we can see exactly what payloads were sent during the Eternal Romance exploit attempt on the file server. Protecting workloads from insecure protocols is a key method in preventing exploitation, lateral movement, and exfiltration of data. Whether it be denying access to that service using DFW, or further inspecting and preventing malicious traffic using intrusion detection and prevention, VMware vDefend has the ability to protect your workloads. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.